How's it going, everybody? Wicked Fang here, and um, I'm kind of in a rush at this second. I didn't realize that tomorrow is legitly Valentine's Day, so I got a pretty cool uh, Valentine's project that um, I've been working on, I guess you could say, for my wife. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and see the whole entire experience of me getting a project set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just show y'all what I'm doing right now. And I'm doing this all off my phone, so. Yeah. And I got to run downstairs and grab my Valentine's Day card for my wife that I got her. But yeah, this is a fun little project that I decided to go ahead and work on. And for all those who have never heard of it, and this is actually something you can all do next year for your wife, it's called a murder bear. The idea is you take a teddy bear, like so, a nice big one, you want to make sure it's big enough, and you want to get some chocolates, some nice, delicious chocolates. And uh, sorry if the lighting's a little off, this is a black, uh, black box, and you know, me and Jamaica, we always got that dark sense of humor. We always sit there and say that, oh, well, my heart's black enough for you, or, you know, my love is as black and all that stuff. So, we got a nice little humor. I'm going to cut that tag off. But uh, you want to make sure that the idea is that you want to put this inside the bear. And you want to make sure that it's big enough for the bear. So, I did myself a little bit of measuring, found out that it was actually the right size for it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to legitly have a overhang of the camera shot of this whole entire video being made. And, um, you're going to see me legitly cut into the back of this bear, stuff the chocolates inside it, and sew it back up. Hope for the best for me because I'm legitly going to have this ready for tomorrow for my wife for Valentine's Day. <laughs> So, it's legitly my own little dark, twisted sense of humor on Valentine's Day, and I legitly got this idea off of TikTok, too, so she might actually like it. But, uh, you know, I'm going to make her do it tonight. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the card and everything, and I'll probably get her to fill it out tonight. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and pause this right here and go ahead and get the different camera shot. All right. Here we are, and the way I got the camera angled up and everything, it's legitly a certain way I had to make sure, so I gotta actually figure out where the seam of this bear is, which is gonna make it a little bit more difficult, so I'm just gonna probably take my luck right here, I'm just gonna cut. I mean, it's not gonna really matter at the end of the day, you know, what happens because it's, it's going to get destroyed anyways. You know, she, she's going to be heartbroken because this is a sweet looking bear right here. She's going to be like, oh, honey, you're going to seriously make me murder? And I'm going to be like, yes, you have to murder the bear. All right, I'm just going to take my knife right here and I'm just going to kind of like work right on into it. I think that's a seam right there. That's okay. We're just going to cut right on into it. And I'm going to go ahead and write out a little Valentine's Day card for her and everything. And she can go ahead and read it out to you guys. So. Don't really want to, like, do too much damage. I mean, I got the hole started, so I guess we'll just go ahead and cut into it now. Okay, there's the seam right there. So that's the seam right there. So I'm cutting the strings to where. Okay. So now we're in the back of the bear. So the idea is I might want to cut up a little bit towards the neck a little bit. Okay. So that should be large enough. Let's go ahead and cut the tag off here because we don't really need the tag. I'll 
probably like salvage it and I'll probably use it maybe like tie it in like something else or something. Oh, there's a little bent right up here, so it was like legitimately the last black card. That's probably why no one bought it because it, the tag was bent and I was like, you know, I ain't worried about the tag. So I'm gonna probably take out some of the stuff in here. And I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to legitly save it because I might need some. So yeah, we're just going to take some of the stuffing out of it. Be something if I find like maggots or something in here. I'm like, ew. And this is what we give our love. Okay. So that should be plenty of room. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Oof. Oof, that's going to be a tight squeeze. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that actually worked out well. Okay. So, yeah, it's in there. So now we're going to take the stuffing. We're going to put it back inside the bear. He's going to look a little extra stuffed now because he has uh, something inside him. Okay, that might be a little bit too much. Because yeah, I don't want him too stuffed. At least I want to make sure he's stuffed enough. Okay, let's see how he looks. Oh yeah, he still looks all nice and stuffy. So, now, I have a some kid in here. And I need to get myself the right needle. Let's see here. I believe the needle I want is this one. Now, I know the camera quality is not that well because it's not an actual top-down thing. I'm legitimately using what I got. And, uh, I try my best to make the video quality as good as possible, but, yeah. Try and get this little strain off of here, just a little strain. Okay, so I should be able to slide this right on in. That's a very thin eye. Oof. That's a very small eye. I can just barely get it in there. Damn. Like, I'm going to legitly show you. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on it or not. Nah, it ain't going to focus on it. But the eye is like so small. And I got to feed it right on in there. I usually have a tool that helps. I might have to go with a different needle. Yeah, I'm with a different needle. That eye is just a little too small. I got my little cheating tool that I usually use whenever I'm sewing. So, I believe this one might have the right size, the right eye. Is that a little bigger? Yeah, that was a little bit more bigger. This might be a little better. All right, let's try this eye. Let's see if I can feed it through here. If not, I might have to go out and grab a different... Damn. It's harder than it looks, I can tell you that. Dollar Tree sewing needles. Oh, 
are the hardest. There we go. Barely got it. Barely got it. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab myself a different pair of needles. Okay, and I am back. I am glad that me and my wife decided to go to Hobby Lobby and buy ourselves a sewing kit there, too. Because there are better eyes in here than anything else. Well, better needles with better eyes. If y'all ever end up doing what I'm doing, don't go to Dollar Tree. I mean, the Dollar Tree brand does give you, like, the, the little cheating tool, as I call it. And the cheating tool that I'm talking about is this doohibbler. Oh, there's a slides up. If I break it. This is a doohibbler you're going to want. And it helps you feed your uh, thread do through. In fact, I'll show you how easy it is. You go ahead and you put, take this. You feed it through the needle, which I know is shitty quality. You can't really tell. But you, know, you feed that right on through there. Take your string. Feed it around through here. You know, get a nice give it a string. You grab the needle and you pull it around through. And bada bing bada boom. Your needle is legitly hanging. So now this is where my surgical skills come in. Disclaimer, I do not have surgical skills. So if you're in dire need and you need uh, medical attention, please go to a professional doctor. Do not come to me. I am not your doctor. So what we're going to do, we're just going to stitch this round through real quick. And the way it stitches on through, is it's really easy stitching. It's just kind of like a Jacob's Ladder, I guess you could say. You kind of just go on diagonal, left and right, left and right. And I know somebody's going to sit there and have it in the comments saying that, well, you know, you could have just done it this way. This way would be a lot more easier and all that stuff. Yes. I know that, but this is just known as a quick stitch. That's basically all I'm doing is a quick stitch. I'm not trying to do anything different. You know, I know someone's going to also say that, well, why'd you leave the thread on the um, on the other end and stuff? Because I don't know how much thread I got. Well, you're supposed to feed it, like give yourself a little bit of slack on the needle itself and everything. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. Trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. I just do things a little differently because it's just me. I've done these kind of stitches before. I've worked with these kind of things before. It's it's very easy to do for me. It's something quick I know of, and I do it really quick. And I know somebody's going to be in the comment too, say I could do it faster. I'm like, well, I bet you can, Mrs. Sewing Machine Hands. But the idea is, if you're going over, under. over you know you're going back you're going back into it and going over and then you're going under and this way it keeps the seams it, it doesn't really matter how far you go because you're just going to really pull it tight and you're just going to basically kind of have it re right back into the spot like there's people that can like get it right there on the seams and stuff and me i'm actually good enough to where i can keep it to where it doesn't really matter how far it looks because like i said it's going to get destroyed at the end it's going to be destroyed at the end of the day. So I'm not really stressing about it. See what I mean? And then this is what I like to do. I mean, she's going to know that it's been sewn up anyway. So I just go and take it and I feed it. Right on over and under. And then feed back into the hole. Because that way it makes a, a, a tighter um, stitch. So the way you do that, 
is you want to feed back into the circle and that way the string gets caught and this is just like a little locking method right here it keeps it from um, getting untangled too quick this is a little trick I learned because she actually had a little stuffy and I accidentally ripped it and uh, well one day I decided to be nice and I sewed it back up for her and she was shocked over the uh, trick I knew because well when you have a whole bunch of little nieces and younger cousins that are you know always breaking their stuffies and everything and they come up to you and they're like ah, Curdy, my stuffy and I'm like oh, okay I'll fix it <laughs> I was the handy good uncle slash cousin slash everything and that's what that's why a lot of people love me so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a nice little knot here cut this string and good as no you won't even tell you can't even tell that it's been tampered with we'll just go ahead and like cut around this excess fur don't really want to get down to where I was cutting down towards the seams there we go it looks that looks good can't tell so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and get everything all put up and well my camera stand is inside doing a cartwheel we're gonna see her reaction she's gonna love this I know she will she has a dark sense of humor just like me and I know she'll love this so let's go ahead and get a reaction all right so I already finished out everything I got the uh the Valentine's card and everything all fixed up so I believe she went to the garage hey I hate to bother you but you mind doing me a little favor can you come upstairs I need your help with something yes okay I guess I'll go upstairs then you can come too, Michaela. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Is he recording right now? Yes, I am. I'm making a video. I love her shit. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I need you in the office. Why is a lot on? Just go in the office. Trust me. Yeah. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. What the fuck? So, let's go ahead and turn this around so you can see it better. Come on over here. Oh. <coughs> All right, honey. Oops. Sorry. You're good. Yeah, I just make sure I get a shot of you reading it and everything. Okay, yeah, go ahead and read the card. You're well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> That's a yes. I know my handwriting is a little shitty. <laughs> Love you from the bottom of my heart. It's been rough for the past few years, but we're still here. I love you so much. You're my player too, and my ride or die. Never forget that. But there's more to this chapter. Turn around. That bear has to die. The dang doctor. Has. What? <laughs> the bear has to die. What do you mean it has to die? You have to murder the bear. 
No. Yes. I know it's adorable. Uh, where do, uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's the, uh, the sheep that gets caught a lot. Uh, go for the throat. What do you mean, go for the throat? Go for the throat. Listen here, bitch. I see my toes. I've done worse of things. I've seen worse of things. You can't do much for me. Do I really gotta go for the throat? Yes. Do you I have to have slit it? his throat. You have to slit the teddy bear's throat. Please don't make me. You have to slit his throat. You can just sew it back on. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Come on. You gotta do it. Cut right there. That's right. Right for the juggler. Go right for the juggler. Yes, you can. Pretend it's your worst enemy. Yeah. That's not helping. Think of it as me. <laughs> That's it. Keep on cutting. That's it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do like that. Be cool if I had some more fake blood in it. <coughs> do I have to keep going? Uh, you might want to go a little further. Poor Teddy bear. I know, right? God, you're so heartless. Look at you. Look how heartless you are. Now, stick his intestines out. I don't want to. That's right. Dig him for his chestnuts. Oh, yeah. Pull his heart out. Rip his heart out. Happy Valentine's, honey. <laughs> she doesn't know what to think right now. I, I think, love you. I think you broke her brain. <laughs> but the bear! Happy Valentine's Day. You just sew the head back on. Is there more in it, or is that it? That's it. Oh. You can sew it back on. You cut it perfectly. I'm gonna cry. Hey, I'm getting us. Here we go. I love you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> we'll fix them. We'll fix them right back up. On the plus side, you got chocolate. Yeah, you got chocolate. <laughs> What's up the bear? You can sew it. I want to take a picture of it like this. Do some stitches like Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. That is Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoy it. Like I said, Valentine's Day was tomorrow for me. And you guys are going to be seeing it on the day of Valentine's Day. At least I pulled that off good. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, if y'all want to see me pull some more horrible pranks on my wife like this, I'll gladly do it. <laughs> like always, guys, take it easy.